So when we talk about digitally enhanced, I'm saying, what are the goals that we have um, in education? And we need to pause and say, well, we want children who can think critically, who can collaborate, um, who can self-regulate in their learning, and so on. So if we look at what are those central goals that, that we want in learning, then we ask ourselves, so when will technology, where does it actually enrich and enhance those goals? I think the, the, the thoughtful use of technology, we need to ground that in what is the learning that we want. And, and, and I can tell you, uh, many, many jurisdictions across North America and internationally have lists of, of competencies that they think the 21st century learner needs. So the OECD has a list, you know, BC has a list, Alberta, we all are talking competencies. They can become our criteria. Is this technology helping to create um, more collaborative learners? Am I using this in a way that allows kids to, you know, for example, using Poplet, where students can go online at night and add ideas, and I can open that up the next day and go, oh, look at all the ideas people have contributed. Now individually you could write a response, so we collaboratively think we individually respond. So are we creating those collaborative communities? Are we using the technology to access a variety of sources? So instead of a text that, that has a limited scope, I can suddenly access resources that might give me multiple perspectives. So can I enrich uh, the perspectives represented? Can I enrich uh, the modalities being used so that I can reach more learners? If I can use more modalities, chances are I can, I can engage more children. So today, on, you know, on the touch of a smart board, I can have a video playing, the words up there, they can see the performance, hear the performance, read the lyrics all simultaneously. We know from the research that multimodal learning is far more powerful. So can I increase modalities? Can I increase collaboration? Can I increase the perspectives represented in the learning? Can I increase opportunities for self-regulation where students are able to monitor their own learning? So if we use the kind of competencies as our guide and ask ourselves, so how is that technology helping advance the competencies we think are important for children, then I think we have a, a good place to, we should always going back to saying, and how is that helping with that competency? And if it's not, do we need to rethink how we're using it?